In this lecture, we will discuss about the breeding for abiotic stresses. First of all, we will discuss about the breeding for drought resistance. Now, what is drought? It is a condition of deficiency of water during the life period of a crop, which prevent the complete expression of genetic ability of a crop. As a result, the yield of crop get decreased. Drought resistance can be divided into three categories. Drought escape, drought avoidance and drought tolerance. In drought escape, we use early varieties of crops which get matured before the onset of drought. In drought avoidance, plant tissues store water for drought conditions. In drought tolerance, plant cells can tolerate the damage due to deficiency of water, hence yield is least affected. In breeding method, we select a drought resistant line which has high epidermal wax on leaves. Now we cross it with a high yield and drought sensitive variety as a result F1 hybrid is obtained. Now selfing is done in drought conditions up to F5 generation. Now superior plants with high epidermal wax on leaves are selected under moist conditions. Now initial yield trials are performed in drought conditions. Now coordinated yield trials are performed in drought conditions. Now seeds are multiplied in irrigated conditions and distributed in farmers. Now what is drought hardening? When seeds or plantlets are treated with a liquid to develop drought resistance then it is called drought hardening. Next we will discuss about the breeding for resistance to mineral stress. Mineral stress is divided into two categories Mineral Deficiency and Mineral Toxicity Mineral deficiency is due to deficiency of minerals in soil. Mineral toxicity is due to excess amount of minerals in the soil. This is called salinity. First of all, we will discuss about the mineral deficiency resistance. This can be developed by following methods. Mineral redistribution. This is for NPK and manganese. Efficient mineral uptake. This is for iron, manganese and phosphorus. Increase in mineral transfer. This is for iron in calcareous soil. Increase in root by shoot ratio. Increase in length and density of root hairs. This is for uptake of phosphorus and potassium. Following breeding methods are used for resistance to mineral deficiency. Pure line selection in local varieties, mutation and gene transfer from related species. Secondly, we will discuss about the salinity resistance. Now what is salinity? This is the excess amount of salts in soil. In salinity conditions, conductivity of soil solution is more than 4 ds per m. Plants can be protected from salinity by two ways. By reclamation of salt affected soil and by growing salt tolerant varieties. Following breeding methods are used for resistance to salinity. Pure line selection. This is a successful method in local varieties of salty areas. 
hybridization with salt resistant varieties for example KRL14 is a salt resistant variety of wheat gene transfer from related species and soma clonal variations for example andro variety of alsi thirdly we will discuss about the mineral toxicity resistance mineral toxicity is mainly due to excess of aluminium and manganese in acidic soil resistance to aluminium toxicity can be developed by following methods by increasing ph in rhizosphere exclusion by roots compartmentation in roots storation in old leaves and compartmentation within cells resistance to manganese toxicity can be developed by following methods less transfer from roots to stem oxidation of mn di positive to mn tetra positive and tolerance for manganese following breeding methods are used for resistance to mineral toxicity pure line selection and gene transfer from related species next we will discuss about the breeding for temperature resistance temperature resistance is divided into two categories cold resistance and heat resistance first of all we will discuss about the cold resistance chilling and freezing chilling is 0 to 10 degree centigrade temperature and freezing is below 0 degree centigrade temperature first is chilling resistance tropical plants are chilling sensitive while temperate plants are chilling tolerate sources of chilling tolerance includes late adopted breeding populations for example maize germplasm of temperate plants induced mutants for cold tolerance cold tolerant soma clonal variants for example tomato and related wild species freezing resistance is of two types freezing avoidance and freezing tolerance in freezing avoidance water get super cooled as a result ice crystals are not formed in freezing tolerance plants can tolerate the damage by freezing sources of freezing tolerance includes cultivated varieties germplasm lines induced mutations related wild species for example for wheat agropyron and rye for oats avena sterilis and trans genes chemically synthesized anti freeze protein genes ala3 in tobacco next is heat resistance it is divided into two categories heat avoidance and heat tolerance first is heat avoidance plants has following adaptations for heat avoidance transpiration for cooling pubescence reduces light interception by leaves and bark insulation which reduces heating second is heat tolerance plants has following adaptations for heat tolerance membrane stability stability of photosystem second photosynthate translocation stem reserve mobilization osmoregulation and synthesis of hsp proteins hsp4 heat shock proteins heat tolerant basmati rice is developed by hsp101 gene transfer from arabidopsis thaliana basmati rice is heat tolerant due to overexpression of hsp101 gene 